Hi friends, it's Judy and it's time for Guardrail 34. Wow, we've already learned 34 Bible verses, only two left to go. This is so exciting. Well, let's take a look at this one inside the guardrails. Faith without works is dead. Wow, this is such good common sense. James, the book of James, he loved common sense. He wanted us to put our faith into action. James chapter 2, verse 17. Now, how are we going to remember this verse where it's found? Well, again, this lady has a big book, bowl of jam. So James, two yummy cinnamon rolls and seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drumsticks in the tin. 17, 17, James 2, 17. And see down here, jam, James two pastries, I love cinnamon rolls, and seven chicken legs in the tin, verse 17. So this is such a great one, faith without works is dead, and you know, it's just so short, so simple. So let's just use a little simple verse like twinkle, twinkle, little star, faith without works is dead, James 2, 17. Ready, jam, two, 17, seven drumsticks and a tin. I'll just put my books here. And also we can make a list of how is your faith demonstrated and make your own list how your faith is demonstrated. Put your faith into action. Ready? Faith without works is dead. James 2, 17. Faith without works is dead. James 2, 17. That's very easy. Faith without works is dead. Remember that? Let's put our faith into action. Don't just speak it. Let's live it. Well, let's look at the principle in action. Salvation's a gift. It cannot be earned. Good works, however, naturally follow those who know they are loved, forgiven, and on their way to heaven. By faith, Pat and his wife, Dee Dee Robertson, started the Christian Broadcasting Network, it was also called CBN, in 1960. And even though he didn't even own a TV and only had one camera, today CBN reaches the world 24-7. Later, Pat launched three other enterprises by faith. Regent University, the 700 Club, and Operation Blessing is one of my favorites, and each is very successful. In fact, that's where I went to grad school, Regent University. Let's look at this about Noah. By faith, Noah followed God's instructions and built an ark approximately 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet tall. Once completed, God judged the wickedness of the world by sending a flood. This destroyed everything but Noah's family, the animals on the ark, and some sea creatures that managed to withstand the extreme water turbulence and massive sediment flows. Amazing story. What about Esther, Queen Esther? By faith, Queen Esther entered the king's presence uninvited in order to expose Haman's plot. Had the king not received her, execution would have been her fate. Well, it's a great reminder of three people, Pat Roberts and Noah and Esther, who stepped out in faith there were risks to all of them. Maybe people made fun of them or mocked them, but they listened to God and they obeyed God. That's faith. So what's our first? Faith without works is dead. You might believe it, but let's put it into action. Faith without works is dead. James 2, 17. 17, what a great verse. 